This guy really biting my tire. Really? Come on now. What's up, everyone? William H. here. Thank you for clicking on my video today. Wanted to share with you guys another day in the office, right? We'll see what the day has to offer. But before we get into the video, guys, don't forget to subscribe. Subscribe, subscribe, and like my video. And I hope you guys enjoy. So to start off my day, four times out of the week, I go to the gym before work. And it's not right before work. I usually wake up like 5. And I'm at the gym like at 5.30. And I do like to have a nice workout before I head to work okay and I usually show up to work usually like an hour or two before so I'm able to edit some videos you know read books or plan out my rest of the day right so a big reason why I work out before I go to work is because it's a challenge right like with anything and I feel like once I get my workout in, you know, everything else in my upcoming day is easy. Okay, and on top of that, I do like to take care of my health, right? Your health is your wealth. So that's another reason why I go to the gym. Some people ask me like, William, don't you get tired when you come to work after the gym? And... I tell them like, no, like going to the gym gives me energy for the rest of my day. You know, it wakes me up, you know, like I said earlier, it's a challenge. But once I get over that challenge, you know, everything else in my day is easy. You know what I mean? Like this is probably like the toughest time out of my day. But once I get through it, you know, I leave the gym feeling full of energy, you know, and I see some people at the gym, you know, torturing themselves, feeling dead, coming out of the gym, you know, and if that helps them, you know, to each their own, but I like to worry about myself, you know, and I like to do what I got to do to give me energy for the rest of my day. All right, my good people, I just finished up my workout, right? And as you can see, I didn't torture myself in there, right? I came in there with the plan and I executed that plan and I don't have to be there for more than an hour, all right? I get in, do what I gotta do and I come out. Right now, I'm full of energy. Right now, I'm gonna eat my first meal of the day. Here, let me show you guys what I'm gonna eat today. For today's meal, we are gonna be eating four eggs with a little bit of added egg whites and some oatmeal okay so i'm gonna show you guys real quick so i got my eggs right here and i usually put berries in my oatmeal right here but i was like you know what i'm gonna just put it i put my oatmeal in a separate cup and as you can see it's right i don't know if you can see that yeah i'll just show you as you can see i have my oatmeal right here and that's my first meal of the day i am not gonna eat and drive because that is very dangerous all right so be careful out there, right? Be careful on the road. Even when you're not on the job, right? You always have to be careful, right? So, see you guys in a bit. So, I just got to work. I don't know if you can see, but the vans are in the back. And usually, I like to come a little early. Um, I like to either edit videos, read a book, choose my upcoming podcast, you know? Things that I, I plan out for my day, right? I'm expecting a heavy ass route, so let's see what it do, what it do. I'm into the office.
How's your day going? Not too bad. It's Friday, so I can't complain too much. Friday, yes sir. Yeah. Better than it being rainy yesterday. Oh yeah. So, I do want to say that every DSP is different, okay? Some DSPs park at the delivery station. Other DSPs park in a different parking lot of the delivery station. So a while ago, my DSP used to be the first one to leave the station. But after some things happened, you know, we got relocated to a different parking lot. And it just adds like 10 more minutes to get to the station. And then after we return to the station, it adds another 10 minutes to get to where the vans are located. And a lot of people don't understand this, but every DSP is different, guys. I just want you to know that. Woo! It's freaking cold up in here. First thing I do. Wow. So I just got to my van. So time to see what the day has to offer, right? Today gonna be an all right day you know not too shabby guys not too shabby right I mean they're probably all country but it is what it is you know so for today's quick tip I'm gonna show you guys how you can prevent your phone from dying right away. So right now I got my phone. And right away we put it on saving mode, right? Right away. And then we can charge it too, but it's already at 100%. So what we like to do, I'm charging my phone actually. Clock in exactly at 920 guys. So, second meal of the day. It's a little snack, right? It's a little snack. So we got a banana and we got some and a banana. Psst. Eat good, feel good, look good, guys. It usually takes about five to ten minutes, depending on the traffic, to get to the delivery station. And for those of you who don't know, masks are required in the state of California. Just got to the station. We gotta roll out. We're going to be in the city of Reedley. It's a nice little city. One sixty. Is at nine fifty eight. We're about to head in. Once I'm at the station, 
we have to get our own racks and then we have to load up our own van okay i understand that places like fedex ups you know you get to work and most of the packages are inside your van already and to be honest for us this process doesn't really take that long it takes about 15 and 20 minutes to load up depending on how much packages we get right so today i didn't get that much packages and over the time that i have been working here i've come to realize that you do have to be really organized because the last thing you want to do is stop in the middle of your route to find a single tote or a single package and it's just going to take up time it's going to add time to your route and that's one thing that you don't want right you want to be efficient when you're working here so as you can see i already started my 30 minute break so quick little tip got everything in the back already Ready. So I just got to my first stop. I'm about to organize all my package. You guys want to see my van for today? Okay, let me show you guys what I'm working with. Show you guys. Today is going to be a great day. Why? Because I'm going to make it a great day, guys. Every day you're alive is a blessing, guys. So keep that in mind next time you're feeling down, right? Because life is amazing, right? Even though sometimes you might think it's not, life is amazing. But you're about to see me run through this route. I hope you guys enjoy. Don't forget to subscribe and like. And then I'll see you guys in a little bit, all right? So... this this it's gonna heat it right up
So I noticed I was going a little too fast, you know, I had to slow it down. I decided to take my break, right? So here, let me show you guys where I'm at right now. I'm on my 90th stop. Take a good look at that. I got 72 to go, right? So I'm like 50% done, 50 plus. I was like, you know what? It's time to eat, right? So for today's meal, let me show you guys, let me show you guys. For today's meal, we got vegetables, rice, and some chicken thighs. Yeah, yeah. Thick thighs save lives, people. Thick thighs save lives, all right? Now, there's a couple of reasons why I meal prep. And a big one being is because I don't like to take time out of my route to go to a restaurant and then take like 10 minutes and take another 10 minutes to eat and then get back to my route. You know, it just takes up a lot of time, right? So I decided to do my own meal prep, right? And I've been doing this for a while. If you guys wanna know what I cook or how I cook it, you know, I got a couple of videos in the past. Go ahead and check that out. But for right now, let's enjoy this. All right, so I just finished up with my third meal of the day. Now, I'm gonna finish my route. This guy really biting my tire, really? Come on now.
So that was just my last stop right now. So I already called into dispatch. They told me I was good to RTS. And uh, check this out, guys. Look at the sun is kind of up, but it's kind of like almost out, right? Like in a couple of minutes, it's going to get dark. And that's the thing with, uh, you know, especially here in the West Coast, the sun goes down pretty, pretty early. Look, check this out. We'll check out what time it is, right? So remember in the beginning, I had quite a bit here in the city of Reedley. Now it's time to head back. Hey, yeah, yeah. And for those of you who are brand new, if you guys don't know, from the Central Valley, so a little bit of a little bit of a context, you know. So here's a Modesto, Merced, Stockton, Sacramento. When people think about California, they think about freaking Sacktown. They think about Frisco. They think about freaking um, San Jose. They think about Santa Barbara, LA, San Bernardino, right? A lot of people don't really think about the Central Valley, right? And it's loaded with agriculture. So that's where I'm at right now, guys. California. Yeah, yeah. Gotta head back to the station. You already know. Had a little traffic, but it's time to go. All right. So as you guys can see, Today wasn't really that heavy. I was expecting more packages with more stops. I'm guessing that Amazon is splitting up the routes between drivers. Um, there has been a surge of new drivers. So I'm guessing they're splitting them up, right? So everyone could have a lighter route than usual. And Christmas is this Saturday. And uh, you know, if you watched all the way to the end, I wanna take a moment to say thank you. I appreciate the support. And I want to leave you with a closing message. You can do anything you put your mind to. Hope you guys have a blessed day. Don't forget to subscribe and like. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Woo!